नमस्ते ऑल द स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम एट स्टैंडर्ड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट फर्स्ट लर्न द डिफरेंस ऑफ डिफरेंस बिटवीन सिंपल इंटरेस्ट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट फॉर दैट लेट इज मेक अ चार्ट इन विच एन मीन्स नंबर ऑफ इयर्स पी मीन्स प्रिंसिपल देन आई मीन्स सिंपल इंटरेस्ट हियर एंड ए इज द अमाउंट ओके फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर लेट इज लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड दैट हंड्रेड रुपीज इज डिपॉजिटेड इन द बैंक एंड रेट ऑफ द डिपॉजिट इज रुपीज टेन पी सी पी ए पी सी पी ए मीन्स परसेंटेज पर एन एम सो फॉर आफ्टर वन इयर फॉर दिस हंड्रेड रुपी रुपीज प्रिंसिपल द इंटरेस्ट विल बी चार्ज इज टेन रुपीज सो टेन रुपीज विल बी द इंटरेस्ट एंड अमाउंट विल बी वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन सो इन द नेक्स्ट इयर वॉट विल बी हैपन देयर इन द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ओनली टेन रुपीज फॉर अमाउंट और प्रिंसिपल वन हंड्रेड इज चार्ज एंड टोटल अमाउंट इज नाउ वन हंड्रेड टेन प्लस टेन दैट इज वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी आफ्टर थ्री इयर्स अगेन द इंटरेस्ट इज चार्ज ऑन द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट वन हंड्रेड that is the 10 and amount will be become now 120 of previous year plus 10 year interest on new year that is 130 now after understanding the simple interest let us understand what is compound interest using this uh, chart so n is again number of years p is the principal i is compound interest here and a is the amount okay Uh, let us understand that same example. Uh, suppose some one person is deposited hundred rupees in the bank, and the interest interest rate of the bank is ten PCPA. So, it after first year the amount or interest will be deposited in ten. So, amount is becomes now one hundred and ten. in next year what happens the amount is now become as principal that is 110 is the principal and now interest is charged on this amount which is becomes now principal so interest becomes now 11 that is the 10% of 110 so amount becomes now 121 so in the next year what happens this amount of previous year is now becomes a principal of next year that is 121 now 10% interest on it is 12.10 so now amount becomes 133 decimal 10 so think about what happens there after 3 years on this uh, principal 100 rupees uh, by the simple interest with 10 pcpa the amount becomes 130 but by the compound interest amount becomes now 133.10 the interest is charged on the amount of previous year okay do you understand it now next now let us uh, let us now solve this example find the compound interest if rupees 4000 are invested for 2 years at the rate of 12 integral 1 upon 2 pcpa okay you know that the formula for compound interest is a is equal to p into bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n so that is very important formula where a is amount p is principal then r is the rate pcpa rate of interest okay and r uh, n is the number of years number of years okay now let us solve this example now next so here principal 
means amount deposited is 4000 then the rate of interest is 12 integral 1 upon 2 pcpa that means 12.5 pcpa and number of years n is equal to 2 years so we compound interest a is equal to p into uh, into bracket 1 plus r upon 100 raised to n so let us put the value of uh, value of p r and n so by putting the value of p p as 4000 and putting the value of r as 12.5 putting the value of n as 2 we got this equation so uh, simplify it so let us multiply the numerator and de uh, denominator by 10 so it is become a is equal to 4000 into 1 plus 125 upon 1000 and its square so now 125 upon 1000 125 1 is 125 and 125 8s are 1000 so it is 1 upon 8 now now the equation becomes 4000 into 1 plus 1 upon 8 and its square now 1 plus 1 upon 8 uh, 8 1 is 8 8 1 is 8 and plus 1 that is 9 so this addition becomes 9 upon 8 okay it is 9 upon 8 now 9 upon 8 and its square therefore 4000 into 9 upon 8 into 9 upon 8 so 8 5s are 40 and 2 0 now divide by 4 4 2s are 8 so 9 into 9 into 125 upon 2 10125 divided by 2 so 2 5s are 10 0 2 6 are 12 uh, now 1 is there so 0 is the question now 2 6 are 12 2 6 are 12 and 2 2 are 4 1 is the remainder so decimal point uh, now 1 becomes 10 so 2 5 are 10 so the uh, amount becomes now 5062.50 now we want here the compound interest so compound interest is equal to amount minus principal so 5062.50 minus 4000 so it is equal to 1062.50 okay now this is the compound interest on rupees 4000 invested for 2 years and by the rate of 12 integral 1 upon 2 pcp okay now let us solve this practice set 14.1 in your notebook okay 